everyone, it's Rachel and today I'll be showing you what we received in the November Christmas Elves box by the Sophie and Toffee Club as well as showing you how to make these super cute Christmas ornaments. Sophie and Toffee have this subscription box that you can sign up for every month and you will receive a range of limited crafting and stationery supplies. I'll leave more information and all the links down in the description box below for you to check out. So in the box we received a bottle of clear UV resin as well as a bottle of violet UV resin. There's three pigments to colour the resin, so we have blue, green and pink. We then got some clear flexible resin moulds, so there's a snowflake one and a reindeer ring one. There's also these open bezel keys. In my box I got a cat, a star and a moon. And then lastly for the stationery items, there's this Christmas card and Christmas themed washi tape. Now moving on to the resin crafting, I'm firstly going to show you how to create these pretty snowflake Christmas ornaments. So go ahead and take the snowflake mould as well as the clear UV resin and pour a thin layer in the bottom. By the way, I've covered my work surface with baking paper in case there are any spills so I can easily clean them up. So to this thin layer I added some star shaped glitter and then because UV resin needs UV light to cure and become hard I then set the mould out in the sun. If you do happen to have a UV light of course you can use that to cure your piece but I just placed mine in the sun and it only took about 15 minutes to completely harden. Once it was ready I took some more of the clear UV resin and mixed two different colours using the blue and green pigments that came in the kit. I also added a bunch of different glitters to make the mixes super sparkly. Once I was happy with how the two mixes looked, I then used my little mixing toothpick and blobbed the two colours randomly around the mould on top of the layer I did before. Once this layer was then done, I put it in the sun for another 15 to 20 minutes to harden. When I came back, I began to loosen the piece in the mould so it would easily pull out and I could finish it off. I then sanded the back of the snowflake down so it was nice and smooth, although I didn't get to film that part on camera. And then it's time to add an eye pin and dome both of the sides. So I started off with the back of the piece and took an eye pin which I positioned where I wanted it to go. Next take some clear UV resin and colour it however you like. I decided to use a white chalk pastel which I scraped some of the shavings into and mixed it all together. You could also just keep it clear and dome the back as it is but you'll be able to see the eye pin when it's done if you do leave the uh, resin clear. Then all you have to do is add your resin to the piece, spread it around so it's all covered and then let it cure under UV light. Because resin is such a strong material, it will hold the eye pin really well and also add a nice shine. And then finally, once the back had hardened, I domed the front to make it extra shiny. So here you can see my finished snowflake ornaments as well as my blue and green one. I decided to make another one using the violet coloured resin that came in the subscription box. All you have to do is add some string and place it on your Christmas tree as a pretty handmade decoration. Next I'm going to show you how to make these resin key bezels that can also be used as ornaments. So firstly choose the ones you would like to use, I went for the star and the moon. Because these metal pieces are open bezels, we need to seal it in some way so the resin has something to join onto. Take some clear tape, I'm using packaging tape because it's nice and wide, and place your piece onto the sticky side and then cut around it roughly. You can use your finger to rub along the back of the piece to make sure it's sealed properly. 
Next I'm taking the clear UV resin and adding a coloured back layer to each of the pieces. I decided to do a white one for the star because I was going for more of a pastel vibe on that one and then a dark navy blue for the moon because I wanted more of a darker galaxy theme. And then I added these colours to the resin using my chalk pastels again. Then just pour a thin layer of the resin inside the bezel. If you've secured it properly, the resin shouldn't leak out and it should sit nicely on the sticky side of the tape, which is facing upwards. Again, because this is UV resin and it needs UV light to cure, I went and placed my pieces in the sun. Once they have hardened, you can then remove the tape from the back. If you find that it's left a sticky mark, that's okay because we'll be doming the back later on anyway. So it's now time to add our designs. I'm starting off at the start, which I'm using three different colours. I coloured some of the clear UV resin with the blue and pink dyes we received, and then also used the violet resin just as it was. For the design on this one, I kind of divided it into three, so I had di a different colour in each third, and then they would all nicely blend together. Except that the blue did actually turn out a lot more vibrant than I had planned, but that's alright. I also added a sprinkle of glitter to the top of this layer before letting it cure. Now for the galaxy themed moon piece, I made a blue mix using the clear resin and the blue dye and added a few different glitters into the actual mix this time before adding on the layer. After both pieces had cured, I then added a final clear layer to the top and decorated them with a few bits and pieces like pearls, rhinestones and micromarbles. I used a toothpick to gently place these on and then let the resin cure for a final time. So this is what my metal bezels look like once they are finished and that is also everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all the links and info about Sophie and Toffee down in the description box. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.